Collect a Wrestlepalooza. Collect a Wrestlepalooza. Hello everyone, welcome to Collect a Wrestlepalooza. Today's video is going to be another tips and thoughts video where I tell you a few things I've been thinking about in terms of the hobby as opposed to focusing on any particular products. Now today's video comes to you from Latte Larry's. Best scones in town. Any of you Curb fans out there probably got that reference. Anyway, the first tip involves a few theories of finance. Now, finance is my career. I do have my MBA in finance, and I try to integrate some of those topics and thoughts into my everyday collecting. So there's two terms in finance. One's called arbitrage and one's called liquidity. And these both relate to card collecting. Arbitrage basically implies that you can buy something at one price and sell it immediately at a better price. That's called an arbitrage opportunity. And usually it involves relational commodities or relational instruments in finance. But you can think of it in terms of sets. So say I can buy a 1990 classic WWF set for $100. And there's 150 cards in the set and I can immediately sell all those cards for a dollar each. That implies $50 of arbitrage. Now, there's work in that, I get it. You have to sort it, you have to relist it, you have to ship it. So there's work that has value. And that should imply a premium for breaking the setup and selling it. But assume that that premium is not there. Assume that it's an immediate sale, it's all set up, it's ready to go. That would be an ARB. You can buy at 100 and immediately sell at 150. ARBs tend not to exist in liquid markets. Why? Liquidity is the rate at which things move in a market, how fast things buy and sell, how fast they turn. So an exotic market, like wrestling cards still is, means that products don't move as fast and there's not as many people dictating the market price. And in these types of markets, there tends to be more arbitrage opportunities. Think about it this way. If 1990 classic WWF sets were constantly being bought and sold, thousands of listings on eBay, and the individual cards were constantly going for a dollar a card, again, thousands upon thousands of listings on eBay, then the individual sets would gain a premium because the people that are buying them to capitalize on this arbitrage opportunity would demand a higher price and that would push the price higher because there's more demand. So when you are looking for lots of cards, when you're looking to break up a set, exotic genres are a really good place to go. Tip number two is focus. Why is this important? When you are focusing on one particular set, one particular card, one particular genre of cards, you're constantly learning and you don't even realize it. When you're buying and selling, you're always gaining some level of information on that card. So say you buy a card and then you realized you overpaid for it. You learned that. And if you focus on that same card again, you know you're not going to overpay for it the second time. So it's actually easier to double down and make back your loss the second time because you've gained that knowledge. So when you focus, you're investing and take those investments and utilize them. If you focus on something and then you switch, you have to reinvest your thoughts and your knowledge into a new genre. So it pays to focus, it pays to stay on one thing, and it pays to know what you're doing. Tip number three goes part and parcel with tip number two, and it is to trust your gut, trust your instincts. Think of it this way. You've invested in yourself. You're a master of this genre. You're a master of that card. You see it in eBay. You see it in a trade show. It's a good value. Buy it. You're going to have to sink or swim based on your gut at a certain point anyway, and might as well just do it. And then if you make a bad move, well, you learn from it, and then you have invested more knowledge into that card or that genre or whatever that bad investment may be. So those are three tips. I think that they're good. I think they're going to help you to have fun and you know maybe make some money doing this. That's my video for this week, guys. If you do find value in these tips, please be sure to subscribe or even give me a like or a comment. 
goes such a long way in helping me to feel like this uh, content is worth creating. Have a great week. Collect the Wrestlepalooza. Collect the Wrestlepalooza.